Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? BD Kane 721. Happy New Year. It's your good buddy Saul coming back with another video. My first video of 2024. I'm very happy the holiday season is behind us now. Back to work. I've been out of the office for about 10 days or so. Uh, haven't really had a lot of time to spend on the hobby. Really haven't watched too many videos over the last week or week and a half. Tried to comment on a few, wishing people Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, that sort of stuff, but really didn't get a chance to watch many videos. I've got a lot queued up, so I'll be doing that over the next week or so and just trying to stay in touch with all of you out there. But again, hope everybody had a great holiday season. Um, I had a very uneventful holiday season, stayed around town, hosted some family for uh, the Christmas holiday. My birthday is now behind me. So another year older, and 2024 is looking to be a great year. The one thing I didn't get a chance to do before I left the office about 10 days ago was uh, show some things that YouTubers sent me in the mail for the holiday season. So I wanted to do that today, talk a little bit about that, and thank them for the nice gestures of sending me something for the holiday. The first one I got was from my good friend Jason over at Mr. Fisher Bike, and he sent a little note along with it. He said, Saul, have a super Merry Christmas. Enjoy the card, your pal Jason MFB. So thank you, Jason, for that. Um, he, uh, I, I did see a few videos before the holiday break on things that he sent, and they're just pretty awesome. I mean, he sent this keychain with his new, uh, I'm assuming this is his new logo for his channel. Um, shows some vintage cards, a nice Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, 89 upper deck card, and of course a Red Sox symbol, as he is a Red Sox collector. But a really cool keychain. Going to keep that here in the office for um, some keys that I use around the, the office building here. And then one of these really nice uh, mug, uh, well, I guess coasters. And I brought out my You Just Got Lit Up from one of my favorite shows that I that I got into over the break called Suits, in case anybody has seen that. But I will be using that here at the office, so that's where that coaster will be going. And then, of course, he sent some cards, as he said in the note, uh, very um, focused on my PCs with a Manny Machado uh, prism, Jace Peterson, who I believe... I think he plays for the A's maybe now. A bunch of Jace Petersons. So check that out. That's pretty cool. First Bowman card. Love that. I'm not sure exactly if he's playing with somebody out there can correct me if I'm wrong. I think the last time I saw him, he was with the A's. Not 100 percent sure anymore. Bowman Platinum of a Manny in his brown uniform. Blowing a bubble as he's hopefully hitting a home run. Khalil Green. A uh, lot to say about Khalil Green. Won't get into it on this video. He was one of the most exciting shortstops to watch in my time here in San Diego. There's a lot about him that I could talk about, but um, won't get into that now. Sketch card of Greg Maddox. Those are really neat. I don't think I've ever... Dick Perez sketch card. That's cool. Very cool. Uh, we've got Freddie Guzman. Clear Ultra, Padres outfielder of old. And some of you might not realize or might not remember, but Mike Piazza did spend a very small part of his career with the San Diego Padres. Uh, this is a Bowman Chrome, really cool looking refractor card there of him. Goes right into the Padres PC. So it looks like he played for the Padres in 2005. I'd have to look into that. But I know he was here in town for just a brief amount of time. And a Bowman, I'm not a Bowman, a big league uh, blue foil of Manny. And lastly, one of those red, white, and blue uh, Hunter Renfro cards from, looks like 2019, Panini Prism. Hunter Renfro, boy, he's been moving around a lot lately. I've I think he was with the angels last year so thank you jason for that for that group of cards will look great in the padres binder all right 
And, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everybody, of course. Uh, Ken's, Ken over at Ken's Cardboard uh, sent me a little Christmas card here. This is the only one of the three cards that I want to show today because um, I did get this package from Jason a couple weeks ago, and then I got these three cards in the mail after that. This is the only one that I actually opened um, because I wanted to just let Ken know that I got it. Uh, so he sent me uh, nice, merry, and bright holiday wishes. And he said that I found this card while searching around and thought shiny chrome and Machado. Good card for the BD Kane 721. Wish you and your wife a Merry Christmas and Blessed New Year, Ken Booth. So very, very awesome from Ken. Nice little card there. Uh, and he sent me this amazing mini of Manny Machado, orange, numbered to 25. And I'm going to take my magnifying glass off camera here and look at the year. Because I thought it was 2022, and it is 2022. These things are so hard to read. I mean, the print is so small. But what an amazing card, Ken. Thank you so much for this. I don't have any of these minis from 2022. I have a few of the base parallels but I don't have any of the minis. So this will certainly start that search for me. Uh, but it looks like a fantastic card and uh, really do appreciate that. In fact, I gotta get my stands out here if I can do that. Put these cards up on a stand here on the stage. Love that card, it's a fantastic card. So. I uh, really do appreciate that, Ken. Happy holidays to you and happy new year to you and your wife and your family. I had the distinct opportunity to meet Ken here in San Diego when he and his wife were out here, I think, on some family business, some family events going on. And he was gracious enough to um, spend some time with myself, my wife, at a Padres game. So that was a lot of fun. Got a chance to really get to know him a lot better. So I am looking forward to returning the favor someday in Colorado. All right. On to Picker Jim S. Sent me a card as well. Uh, and again, these two I did not open because I thought I would make a video over the holiday. I never got around to doing it. So I'm just going to rip into these cards right in these um, holiday cards right now so you can see what was sent to me by these amazing YouTubers. If you haven't checked out Jim's channel, certainly go do that. So his card is, starts off with wishing you a candy cane kind of Christmas. Oh, uh, one that's sweet and cool with a twist of fun. Merry Christmas. Hi, Saul. I really appreciate your friendship and support. I love following along on your collecting journey through YouTube. Happy holidays to you and your family, your friend, Jim, over at Picker Jim S. Absolutely, Jim. You know, Jim and I have, have been corresponding quite, a, quite often on YouTube. In fact, I got a chance to meet him uh, at the Atlantic City National a couple years ago. And we had a really good time there, of course. So let's see what amazing stuff he has, he has sent me, starting off with this 2020 Tops Rookie Cup opening day of Fernando. I'm not sure if I have that one, to be honest. Opening day, sometimes um, I'm, not, uh, I'm not searching for, uh, but I may have gotten that one. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look back at the Tatis PC. And then behind it is this awesome rookie debut of Fernando with the rookie card symbol on it. That's amazing. And then a really cool refractor from Bowman Chrome of Ready for the Show. And I think this is 2019. Yep, this is also a 2019 card from Bowman Chrome. So hitting up the Fernando PC. Uh, I mentioned on one of my last videos that Fernando is a guy that I'm expecting a lot out of now that Soto is gone. Um, I think I think Fernando's got a lot of maturing to do in the big leagues and needs to really step it up. Last year was an okay season for him. 
I think uh, as far as expectations go with him and his offensive numbers, defense, he was fantastic. He's taking to right field quite well. So we're all looking forward to that. So hopefully he'll step it up a little bit now that Soto's gone. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate that. Card, happy holidays to you and your family. On to Reindeer Studios. Now, I've seen several, several videos of people opening a very similar card from Reindeer Studios. Uh, I am very fortunate and lucky to get a holiday card from, from Scott over at Reindeer Studios, so I'm looking forward to opening this. I don't... Um, I did have a chance to meet Scott at the Atlantic City show as well, kind of the same exact time that I met Jim. And um, he is one of the more amazing people here on the YouTube in the YouTube community. Um, again, I left links below for all of these guys if you want to go check them out if you haven't seen them already or haven't gone to their channels already. So I think if I heard the other people other channels correctly, this is a card that uh, Ranger Studios created themselves. So this is another drawing from him, which is amazing. His artistic ability is off the charts. And he sent a nice little note here. Just like a bowl of Wheaties fuels superstars on the field. I hope this season fuels your spirit with health and happiness. May your days be merry and the glow of the season be as bright as stadium lights on a starry night. Hey Saul, thanks for being awesome. I hope you're well and that you have an amazing Christmas. Your friend, Scott. Awesome, Scott. That is that's really cool. There you are right there eating a bowl of Wheaties. Got your baseball mitt and your ball there ready to go. So thank you for that, Scott. Appreciate it. And let's just see. He's got one of his uh, cards that he, I think, put together or created from one of his drawings. This looks like Jose Ramirez, if I'm not mistaken. Got a little auto there of Scott. And number 11, Ink Wash and Digital Painted in 2023 for Inktober. I'm going to scan that for the video. That's really cool. And then number nine, oh, and then there's this one, which is really awesome. This is the um, Roy Hobbs card from the Natural movie. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Scott, for that. Those are going to go right into the YouTube PC for sure. And that's all I've got for uh, holiday wishes from YouTubers this year. Again, appreciate all of the gestures of some great YouTubers and look forward to keeping it up here in 2024. That's it for today. Hopefully the next one, I have some graded cards coming back finally. So hopefully the next video will be showing off a, a few graded cards from a group submission that was made over a year ago. So look forward to that and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.